Hi, in this video, we'll learn how to create a virtual visa card using the app called Eversend. The alternative that you can use is Accrue, but today we'll focus on Eversend. Let's get started. Open your App Store or Play Store if you are on Android and search for Eversend. Download it. Once it's downloaded, open. Allow. Choose whatever here. Skip or just press the next, next until you get to this screen. Enter your email address. It will send a code to your email, so input the code received. And continue choose your country here and enter your phone number sometimes the code can delay so you might have to wait for a few minutes and whatever method you choose currently whether SMS or WhatsApp it seems they only send it to the SMS regardless of what you choose And if you don't receive the code at the bottom, you can see there's a, a countdown. Once that time has reached zero, you'll be able to tap on send me a code again. You might have to do this maybe once or twice to get the code. Now I got the code. enter your real first name and last name because you'll be doing verification make sure this is accurate then choose your date of birth now create a password for your account i'm just going to use a password manager so don't be confused here i have an, an app that i use to create passwords so that you can create secured password and save them so that's what i'm doing here if you don't have it that is okay just write in your password and note it somewhere next create your pin you'll be using this pin to log in or authorize certain transactions in case you are stuck on the loading screen just close the app and open it again. Next, we'll need to verify. Tap on verify account now. Enter your address. It can be just your street address or your house number, whatever. And then your town. Next, we'll need to capture your Ghana card or any other card you have. So first make sure you set a country and then you can choose how you want to verify your identity. You can use the other options. I'm going to use Ghana card here. You can tap on the attach file if you already have the picture on your phone. But if you don't just tap on take a photo and you can take it right away. I'm going to take a photo here. next you need to take a selfie we'll take a clear selfie of yourself then upload done now wait for the verification notification you can see i've received a notification that my account is verified and the verification alert is gone next thing we'll have to do is to add money these are your currencies you can add other currencies and we'll first need to find it with Ghana CD and then convert it to USD for the card because the card is in USD, it's not in Ghana CD. Even though you can use it to pay for any kind of currency. So tap on fund, choose any of the option. They all work well for me. Here, if you don't see any phone number, just add a new phone number and enter your Momo number. Enter the amount here.
continue and then enter your momo pin to approve the transaction now let me go back to the account i'm just going to navigate to a different screen and then come back so that it can refresh there we go next thing is to exchange it to usd tap on exchange you might need to tap here to and then choose the usd in case you don't see it right away I'm going to convert a whole hundred cds and continue now go to cards at the bottom create new card Below here you see some card penalties which happens when you try to use the card several times without having enough fund. It can lead to the card being removed. Next thing is the plan. So the card you either choose to pay $1 every month or just $3 one time payment. I suggest we go with the one time payment so that you don't pay anything ever again. I will choose the one time payment. Let's choose the card color. Now let's fund it because there's a fee. Out of the nine, I have nine USD. There's the three dollar fee, so I can add all. I only have to add the rest, which is the six dollars. So I'll enter six there and add it up. Enter your pin. Successfully created. Now you can see the amount you have on the card here. If you want to see the card details, you tap on the card and then choose reveal card details. Then you can see the ones that are in asterisk. You can also freeze your card here. You need to stop working. And then the billing address some of the platform requires billing address to use with a specific card so make sure you you enter this billing address this is not shipping address this is billing address for the card so make sure you enter this billing address sometimes if it doesn't match it will not work also at any point of time you can withdraw the funds from your card back to your usd account and convert it back to ghana cd and then withdraw it to your momo or send it to someone at any point of time now i'm going to open temu and add this card to my payment method just to show you how you can add it i'm not going to check out but i'll just add it to my payment method so let's go ahead i'm just going to open temu Go to you, settings, your payment methods, and add a credit or debit card. So here I'll go back to ever send. Go to cards. I'm going to tap on the card and then copy card number. I'll go back to Timo and then paste the card number here. I'll choose the expiration date, which is on the card here, seven twenty-eight. Then the CVV. I'll Tap on reveal card details to see the CVV.
then the billing address or change the billing address to match the one that is on the card here. Then I'll save, add your card. Now the card has been added successfully. So during checkout, I can choose to use that card for checkout.